Here is the heavyweight contender, Curtis Razor Blades, Juco National Champion at Harper College as a collegiate wrestler, and he has been one of the more prolific takedown artists this heavyweight division has ever seen. Yes, he's a very big, very strong, very skilled wrestler, but don't sleep on the hands yeah. of Curtis Blades. In the Justin Willis fight, you saw the wrestling set up the overhand right that put Willis down, and you've seen that from Curtis Blades, a guy that's so good at that one skill that it opens everything else up. Curtis Blades is a beast in the heavyweight division. He was massively disappointed that that Francis Ngannou rematch didn't go his way, but to your point, turned around quickly, beat Justin Willis, and got right back on that path to contention. We'll see how it goes for Curtis Blades here tonight. So here he is, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, Tom Aspinall. He has put UK on the map. And certainly Michael Bisping and Leon Edwards deserve a lot of credit. But now the UK has a heavyweight champion. And he hasn't even arrived at his fighting prime. We heard a lot about the grappling of Tom Aspinall and just how good he was in that realm. But his striking is outstanding. He's got the power to go with the speed. He moves as well with the footwork as any heavyweight on the roster. And that's really the big challenge for the opposition here tonight. Power to be sure on the other side, but how are they going to keep up with Tom Aspinall with the lateral movement, the jab, and everything else that he presents and poses on the field? Our tail of the day for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Curtis Razor And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Tom Aspinall! All right, Herb Dean, third man Ready, in the octagon fight. for this one. Well, it has been a constant evolution when it comes to the UFC heavyweight contender, Curtis Razor Blade. Certainly, you know about the takedown game, and how soon will he go to it tonight? Because as the striking continues to catch up to the wrestling, that figures to present Blades with a lot of different options that he can employ on fight. Oh, big shots from the top. Push him off! Push him off! Great work here from the bottom fighter. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right. It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hands. You get to your knees and you attack the hands with both hands and try to peel the lock so you can get to your feet. Oh, he got to his spot. 
Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Blades is right back to the full mount. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Passes the half. Blades making these ground strikes count. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Aspinall. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Blades. Nice shot there by the champ. Blades has got the full mount. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Lands the grounded pound strike here. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. And another one, another strike from the top, lands for him. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Great job landing from the top position. Blades is back in full mount. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Aspinall's in half guard now. Nicely done. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Curtis Blades. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Oh, the hard ground and pound strike lands, and that has caused some swelling or so, it appears. All right, feet on the hips here. While working pretty effectively from the top here, nice ground and pound by Blades. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the mat. Aspinall's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time. I'm not so sure they're not going to step in, Daniel, and stop this fight right now. Hard to be a one-eyed fighter in a mixed martial arts set. Inside, Mitchell, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on Billy. Right. Round two next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, the fighters head back to the stools, and certainly it's a tale of two corners. One man can barely see out of one of his eyes, and if the doctor sees that visual, he might call an end to the action. Don't start protecting that eye. We're going to be in danger. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will Ready. not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what it changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Great punch landed with so much power. Aspinall gets a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, oh that's Jack Hurd. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. That guillotine is tight. This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sub. A 
lot of top pressure being applied here. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Nice strike from bottom position. While landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Curtis Blades. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Blades is in half court. Oh, right into Mo. Mastering up now. And now the damage is about to start. in this position, referee will have no choice but to stop the fight. Now Blaze is much safer position for being in side control. Blaze is able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Nice transition. Under three minutes here to go round two. Aspinall get peppered here from the top. He's got to figure out a way to cover up. Working out of the half guard here. Busy on the throw. Blades is right back to the full mount here. Lands with the ground and pound. Man, another one lands. He's trying to pound his opponent's head through the canvas. Aspinall's in half court. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman would be proud. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Nice defense. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Blades. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Aspinall's got a pretty deep bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Ooh, heel hook attempt now, and it looks locked in. Ooh, I don't know, that heel hook looks tight. Oh, and now he gives up on the submission. Aspinall's in half guard. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, Jonathan, he just gets up. Gotta be careful here. 30 seconds to go in round two. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you gotta shrimp, you gotta get off on the hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. 10 seconds to go in the round. Back in half goal. Look at him. Oh, oh. oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly coming to submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally, probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, there's the end of the round. Back to the stools we go. And they need to do something to address the swelling because at this point in time, he has almost been rendered a one-eyed fighter. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is <laughs> swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken far too many. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight.
swing and a miss by Curtis Blades. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Double jab there by Aspinall. Oh, and he goes to the hook now. It's good. That was a nice takedown. Yes. Nice sub attempt. Oh, that killing is tight. The guillotine looks like it's locked in. Right now, he's got to be patient. He's got to squeeze, but not too much. He's got to get the guards out and try to find a submission. you got to be kidding me. He's out. Good, solid strike on the ground. Well, sometimes our staff guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grapper. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Getting the ball here. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Continuing to stay busy Jump here on the ground. Oh! oh, big ground strikes continue to land. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Here. Aspinall's in half guard now. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Curtis Blades. Look at that. Recognize he was about to lose position. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. He should be trying to get back to his feet. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. All right, half guard form here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pound. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Aspinall's overhand telegraph, though, it gets blocked. Oh, nice single, yes. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Curtis Blades. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Aspinall's in half goal. Nice positional control here. to go. Blades is in half goal. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound. Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Good work from the top here by Aspinall. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. 
Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Uh, Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work uh, by Blades. Stop, stop, All right, incredible stop. drama here in this fight. I'm not sure how much longer he can stay in it, given all that swelling around his eye. We'll see what the cut man can do to stop the swelling here over these 60 seconds. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swelling. Ready to fight? Ready. Still we have arrived at the fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper hand. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the eye. Blades' kick attempt. That one was blocked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. On the shot. There you go, single leg. Aspinall is looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. There it is. Now he's going to mount. doing a really good job putting himself in position. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if... Got to be careful, Omar. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. Like, you got to be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. Was able to withstand the fire, and now he finds himself out and safe. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands for this man. Blades is in half guard. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position especially for a wrestler. Oh, right into Mount. Aspinall's in half guard now. Under 90 seconds to go. Now he's got a good body position, yup. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and Defensively, you better be careful. Another strike lands to that swollen area. The in swell would come in handy right now. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. That guillotine is very tight. How in the world did he escape that submission? Blades going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Oh, 
Man, what a strike from the bottom. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Hard ground and pound shot there, and yes, it was hard. Open him right up. Mm, that was nice. seconds to go. This is where he wants to be. Ten seconds. Final seconds here. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Oh. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and the doctor's not going right, to let you down. continue as a one-eyed fighter. You all can see that the swelling around his eye. Back. It is they awesome, and I'm not sure how much longer he can stay in this fight. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter. But he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Curtis Blades. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Oh, nice. Oh, slams him down with authority, DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the record. He slams him down with so much conviction, and nothing is more discouraging for your opponent than being lifted up off of his feet and then slam back down to the mat. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. He's got that arm triangle. Watch him pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. It looks like he's getting close to this arm triangle. All he's got to do now is isolate the arm. Get his head down to the mat. Oh, looks tight to me. Good as that as he gets out. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Getting them out here. Aspinall's in half goal. Beautiful transition. Yep, got to be very careful there. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye. Got to be careful. He's got to shore up the defense because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only going to continue to get worse. In the half guard. Blades is right back to the full mount. All right, just as we saw a few seconds ago, he finds the home for another ground and pound strike. Beautiful punch lands there from inside the guard. Under three minutes now to go in this Push one. Him off. Push him off. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Blades. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Oh, right in the mouth. This is a terrible position. his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. These ground strikes are starting to add up. That was a slick transition. Side control now. Oh, this is some high-level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Curtis Blades. 
All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Aspinall's in half goal. Now into his mouth. Under a minute now to go in the fight. Nice shots landing from the top position. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Get the half guard. Beautiful ground strikes landed. All right, let's go, let's go. Right, left. Another strike gets through from the top position. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Aspinall. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. And there is the final horn. What a 25-minute affair tonight. We're going to the scorecards. The Ladies official and gentlemen, decision is now in and resides rounds, with Bruce Buck. We go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score the contest. 50-45, 50-44, and 50-44. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Curtis Grayson! Well, what a moment and what a victory for Curtis Razor Blades here tonight. A lot of people wondered as the challenges got stiffer.